Okay, so we're going to do an IND in this buckle space infection. Look at that flow. I've waited a few years to post this case because I was really worried about the outcomes. And if you stick around, it's such a really short video. If you stick around to the end, you'll kind of see why. And I, I was very reluctant to post this initially right after I finished it because I wanted to give it some time to see the outcome. So we're doing an IND, incision and drainage. It's a very simple technique. Arguably, the literature kind of shows that you might not need to do it. The link is in the description box below for that actual article. We elected in this case with a buccal space infection. We completed the pulpectomy when the patient showed up. Diagnosed tooth number 36 as necrotic with an acute apical abscess. We've got a little bit of pus drainage through the canals and then we're getting a little bit of blunt, blunt dissection right now. I'm not going to irrigate with saline. We're just, and I'm not going to place a Penrose drain. We're just going to, we just got rid of that initial flow of some pus and blood. And then that's it. We'll bring the patient back in two weeks and we'll finish the case. But like you'll see, I was really worried about if this case was going to be successful. So this is the final you're seeing at the end of the second appointment two weeks later. Same protocol we teach at allthingsendo.ca, our online course. I took a working length radiograph and it looked good. I used an apex locator and I was super happy. Then I took a look at the final periapical radiograph and I was like, oh wow, we're a little bit short. Look on those mesials. We look like we're greater than two millimeters away from the radiographic apex, as well as that little hook on the distal. So although I was very excited to post it, I wanted to wait. And I'm glad I waited because this is a year later, patient's asymptomatic, and we've had complete resolution of all symptoms. So what did I learn in this case? Well, I'll tell you, it reinforced a few things. One, shape. Got to make sure you've got that apical shape adequate to then get your disinfectant down there. This is full string sodium epichlorite. You know, we irrigated the heck out of this tooth, making sure we got all of that debris out of there. Got to make sure you find all those canals and it reconfirmed that there wasn't a middle mesial. That's what we're searching for here. And finally, trusting my apex locator. You know, that short mesial and short distal really kind of like made me feel a little bit awkward. I'll be honest. And would a CBCT help in this case? Probably. And uh, we didn't have access to one for this case, but certainly most of the time we take one. Anyways, I'm so grateful you're here and we'll talk to you soon.